so today we are going to discuss some questions based on the rules and properties learned in the last video so let's start there is a question that find the value of the angle angles given in a variable form these three forms and question says that so that the angles or triangle is an equilateral you have to prove that triangle is an equilateral triangle how we prove this one so as we know by using angles and property all these three are equals to 80 degree x plus 15 degree well is ranking 6x upon 5 plus 6 degree plus 2x upon 3 plus 30 degree equals to 180 degree keep variable one side x plus 6x upon 5 plus 2x upon 3 plus 15 plus 6 plus 30 equals to 180 it's a LCM is 15 15x plus 5 threes are 18x 10x plus 51 equals to 180 we can write only over here it's a 43x upon 15 equals to we shift this plus to that side 180 minus 51 so we can write down over here x uh, sorry 43x upon 15 equals to 13129 9 1 10 130 50 clear now from this we can find out the value of x therefore x equals to 1 2 9 into 15 upon 43 so 43 3 is a it's a 45 degree so value of x is 45 degree therefore values of angles are equals we find the values means what therefore x plus 15 equals to 60 degree i'm not solving you can solve it 6x upon 5 plus 15 equals to 6 place the value of x 45 upon 5 plus it's a 6 sorry it's a 6 so what we have we have 5 9 ja, 6 9 ja, 54 54 plus 6 60 degree similarly this one also 60 degree I am not going to find this one, you can easily write down 60 degree. Clear? So this proves that it is an equilateral triangle. I hope this thing is clear to you. See this figure. In this figure, question asked to you, find the values of x and y, x and y. So how you find? It's easier for us. We see the figure, we come to this place in triangle ACD. In triangle ACD, as we know that uh, this is the exterior angle of this triangle ACD. So this is equals to sum of these two. We can say that uh, 112 degree or it's better you can write down first statement that angle ADE equals to angle DCA plus angle ACD. Why? You must note, write down the property. Why? Because it is an exterior angle property. So 
simply for the this is required exterior angles property so what is the value of ade it's a hundred twelve degree equals to 52 sorry it's a y y plus 52 degree clear from this you can find out the value of y and what is the value of y it's a value of 2 degree 60 degree it must be 60 degree equals to 60 degree y equals to 60 degree now come to we to find out the value of x so say similarly we can use find out the value of this one in triangle a b c angle a b c plus angle c a b equals to angle a c d and this one is your x degree plus no it's a a b c is not your x degree it's a 48 degree x degree equals to 60 x equals to 12 degree so this one and this one is your answer so i hope you can easily solve your questions come to the next figure sorry next question there is a question in that question it is says that uh, in an isosceles triangle base angle is 30 degree base angle is 30 degree greater than the vertical angle find the measurement of all the three angles it means what see here so let me figure this one base angle these two are the base angles clear these two are the base angles and these two angles are 30 degree greater than the vertical angle this one so what is our solution suppose vertical angle equals to x therefore base angles x plus 30 and x plus 30 and then by using angles and property we can easily solve find out the value of x then value of your angles so let's solve it i'm solving over here by using angles and property equals to 180 degree why because it's an angle sum property clear therefore we have 3x plus 60 equals to 180 3x equals to 120 x equals to 40 clear therefore vertical angle is your 40 base angles equals to 70 degree because 40 plus 30 is 70 i hope this thing is clear to you okay in this question it is a figure is given to you and it says that there is an angle nac equals to this one i think this one is your 52 degree and this angle ac key is your 84 degree these two lines are equals to each other means a n equals to a n equals to a c this one is your this figure now how you prove question says that the line b c k this line b c k is a straight line in one figure it's not a straight line but actually it's a straight line in question it says that b c k is a straight line then we have to prove that this place and b equals to nc means this line this line and b equals to nc you have to prove this too how we prove it's easy by using the laws rules as we know that in case of isosceles triangle a and c these three a and c a n equals to ac it is given so it means what angle n equals to angle c angle n equals to angle c so we have to find out this these two angles and then this angle we can prove it let's try 
Though this this is your isosceles triangle, it means this angle is x. So this one is also x. Clear? So for in triangle A and C, in triangle A and C, we can write down 52 plus 2x equals to 180 degree by using angles and property. 2x equals to 8. Well, I'm directly subtracting this one. 180 minus 52. It's a uh, 128 degree. Mm, yes, 128 degree. Therefore, x equals to 64 degree. Clear? So, values of x equals to 64. We have 64 degree. And if this one is 64, then we can, what is the value of this one? Question says that NB equals to NC. It means we to prove these two angles are equal to each other. So we can say that uh, angle A, sorry, it's the angle NCB. equals to 180 degree minus this and this sum of this and this 84 plus 64 it's a 180 minus 148 10 minus 8 2 7 7 minus 4 3 32 degree so this ncb is your 32 degree clear and what is the value of this one? So angle B and C. Let me check. Angle B and C equals to 180 minus 64. Uh, why? It's a linear pair. And this is a straight line. Clear. So 180 minus 64, it's uh, near about 4, 10 minus 4, 6, 7 minus 6, 1, 116 degree. So similarly, we can find out NBC. Equals to 180 minus these two. So what we are observing that these two angles are equal. So therefore, line opposite to this one, line opposite to this one, these two are equal. Therefore, we can say that therefore angle NBC equals to NCB. So NB equals to NC. So that's all for this video. Hope you can easily understand. See this one very carefully by using the properties of isosceles triangle and try to solve up to question number 10. Try to solve question number 10. 1 to 10. This is your homework. Clear? Thank you.